What's it like being back? Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's always uh, interesting to see how much has grown. You know, like you, you come back uh, and you're like, I didn't I didn't know that building was there. And it's just it's just a testament to like the people that really put forth the effort to want to make this place better. And so uh, it's a humbling thing. You know, you wish you had these kind of you know uniforms and, and facilities, but at the same time, you're just grateful for this chance to be back. What's it like seeing your name up on this wall with this with the initial class? Um, yeah. And humble, thankful. Uh, you can't put into words what this is all about, man. Um, the fact that they would even allow me and honor me—that's that's, that's a, this, you know, this place gave me so much more than football. So uh, this is just a small token, and I can never re uh, repay it back. So I'm indebted. I really am. I've already co or talked to Coach Bowden over here, being the same class as him. Yeah, I mean, come on. It doesn't get any better than that. I mean, the fact that, uh, you know, you get to be with a legend, a guy right there that, you know, lived and, you know, lived and breathed football, but also just, you know, a father figure and so many other things that he did for so many uh, college athletes. I think that speaks volumes. And just, just, you, just you know, being in his presence and actually being, it's, just, it's pretty, it makes it that much more special. So, you know, it's the icing on the cake. How did Stanford shape your pro career? Um, I mean, it, it set my foundation. I think my work ethic and everything that came about from who I am as a player started here. You know, the grittiness, the undersized, but, you know, I always had those people in my corner telling me, you know, the confidence they were building in me. So um, that was the biggest thing. I think uh, Sanford, like I said, more than just football, I think as a man, when you can develop as a man and find your purpose, uh, football is just secondary. What are, how do you see the future of Sanford football? Like, what do you see this program going in the next I mean, five, ten years? Only, only way up. I mean, they have a great coach now. Um, I mean, they're in a great conference. They're steadily getting better. They're getting better players. People want to come here. It's attractive. And uh, I think that's all a testament to, you know, people that, you know, constantly poured into this program and uh, this university. And so I'm happy to be a part of it. What are you up to nowadays? Uh, a lot. Yeah, a lot. Um, uh, co-owner in uh, 42 juice bars. Um, uh, have three kids, uh, train kids also at Brentwood Academy. And so uh, keeps me pretty busy. And I'm uh, you know, full-time husband. Yeah, that's, you know, women, you know what I'm saying. <sighs> that's a job in and of itself. Yeah. You get down here to any games? Um, I did, I got down for the alumni game. Um, I did for the past two years. It just happened to fall like on a bye week once, and last year just no more football. So uh, it's just one of those things to get back and see this program and see the new weight room. And it's just it's mind blowing because you could just walk up to our football game, and now you got to have a laminate to even get at to the football game. So it's uh, it's surreal, but I, it's, I definitely appreciate it. Solid. Gucci's the bandana.